Hi, I'm Miss Kelly with the Forsyth County Public Library. Animal sounds are a great starting point for vocal play with babies. They're sounds that begin with a consonant and then end with a vowel, like moo or ba that the sheep says. Engaging babies in back and forth vocal play will encourage babbling, and when you meet their sounds with enthusiasm, that'll encourage baby to put more sounds together and eventually form words. You can use props like stuffed animals or pictures, and the library has lots of books with animals in it. This is Mary Had a Little Lamb, Learn Colors, like there's the red monkey, ooh, 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 ah, ah, ah. So that would be an example you could use, or oink, oink, moo, cock-a-doodle-doo. The cat says meow, and you can always add the sign language in with it too. A horse neighs, neigh. And then, as we have fun with the animal sounds, we're exposing baby to the sounds that make up our language. And we're also demonstrating the structure of communication. So, I've got two little stuffed animals here, a duck and a cow. So, you could say, quack, quack, quack. Moo, 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 moo. Quack, quack, quack. And then, wait and give that silence for baby to respond. Well, have fun doing vocal, vocal play with your little one.